I hope you guys are all having an effective day. Easy auto fix here and today we're going to learn symptoms of a bad radiator. The purpose of the radiator is to cool down the hot coolant coming from the engine. This helps your engine from overheating. The location of the radiator will be towards the front of the engine. The first symptom of a bad radiator is having your check engine light on. You might get a P0217 indicating that your engine's overheating. Now you can read this code by going to the parts store near you and they'll most likely do it for free. Or you can buy the scanner that I have that's worth it, linked in the description below. Now you can still have a faulty radiator with no check engine light, so let's move on to the next symptom. The second symptom is having a coolant leak. Some of the coolant leaks could be coming from the plastic on the radiator becoming too brittle and cracking through time. Or in other situations, the radiator fins can get damaged by a rock or other objects while driving, causing it to leak. The third symptom is your engine overheating. The reason for this could be due to an internally clogged radiator not letting coolant pass through. If coolant can't pass through the radiator, it will never be able to cool down, increasing heat to the point where your engine's overheating. If you want to try to save some money, try flushing out the system before buying a new radiator. I'll leave the chemical in the description below. Another reason for your engine overheating could be due to a radiator leak. This leads to low coolant levels in the system and an engine with no coolant will result in high temperature levels which explains why your engine's overheating. The fourth symptom could be damaged radiator fins. Fins can be damaged when driving on the road by impact of small rocks or other objects. When enough fins are damaged, the radiator won't be able to cool down the coolant as well. Something to look out for is to notice if you have a dirty radiator. This will also prevent your car from cooling down, since the dirt blocks the airflow. Some people use a soft brush to wipe off the debris and finish it off with a water hose. Doing something simple like this can save you money from buying a new radiator. Excellent! We just learned symptoms of a bad radiator. I hope you guys learned something new today. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe so I can see you in the next video.